Hi all, it's Nicole Walev and in this tutorial, it will be actually a series of tutorials, I will explain uh, from A to Z uh, the methodology of creating GDL objects for ARCHICAD. GDL is uh, short uh, of uh, Geometric Description Language and it's a programming language, don't be scared, it's a simple programming language, not uh, very complex and it is used uh, for creating uh, 3D or 2D objects that have a specific uh, behavior in uh, the either 3D or 2D environment. Therefore, you can define how they are um, symbolized, how they are projected in uh, 2D views, elevations, sections and also they have specific listing qualities and uh, also user interface. Uh, first we will answer the question why do you need to learn GDL? First of all GDL is a language that is completely free to learn you don't have to uh, show up to any course or pay money to learn it but uh, if you want to be proficient in ARCHICAD you definitely need to um, spare some of your time to learn GDL to make your own objects for your custom use of the product. For example, if you need to create a specific chair that uh, you envision, you design and uh, of course you cannot find it in the ARCHICAD uh, library. The first option is to search the web and uh, modify an existing free chair uh, which will also require GDL. The second option is to create the chair by using uh, tubes, uh, morphs, uh, um, uh, and uh, other ARCHICAD instruments. Uh, you can see the instruments there. You can use uh, also shell, um, morph as I mentioned, um, also slabs, walls uh, and columns and so on. You can create it that way. Um, ARCHICAD is uh, as of ARCHICAD 16 and uh, after ARCHICAD 16 I, I'm using in this tutorial ARCHICAD 19. Um, it's very sophisticated in, in case of uh, 3D design. You can basically create any shape you want. Uh, but uh, the drawback of that is that um, your object will not be parametric. Which means if you need to change the width of the, or the height of the object and uh, everything to grow parametrically, parametrically, for example the walls to become um, the side of the chair, the construction to become the same size but uh, the height to increase. Uh, it's difficult to achieve in ARCHICAD. Uh, it can be done of course by, uh, let's show you, I will create some walls. Let's say like that and uh, if you want to um, stretch them you can go to resize uh, by pressing Ctrl plus K and uh, of course uh, all, all that will be selected uh, this size to be, become 200. The problem with that is that the height became uh, is the same 255. If I change it again you, you will notice that it didn't change. 255 I will change that to 150. The height is the, is the same. Uh, that, that will become uh, a problem if you want to change it uh, in three dimensions. If your object is 2D it isn't a problem at all. But uh, if you want to change the three, three dimensions it will be quite a problem. The third option is of course to learn GDL and um, modify your objects by using uh, programming language. It may require some work, but 
of course in the long run it will pay off uh, at least two times three times it will save you a lot of time it will generate high quality drawings and also it will help uh, in your 3d visualizations and now i will show you some examples of my own gdl work uh, um, some um, uh, objects i created along my journey let's show you first i created uh, with the help of course of uh, colleagues uh, in in the firm i've created uh, this bed this is called a user interface for the bed otherwise if you don't create it uh, the, all the parameters show that way but uh, I won't ex explain it for now how to create user interface and so on I will show you some of the functionalities you can first in 3D let's see how it looks show selection marquee in 3D uh, it creates a bed as you can see, uh, in this case it's double bed, it creates works around the bed and uh, night tables, also uh, different uh, sorts of lamps, uh, which in, in, um, uh, in uh, visualization they will actually be lit and they will emit light. Let's uh, show you different options. We can change the lamp. Here I will change it to triangular. You can see the lamp changes. Uh, also the bed can be single. And uh, everything uh, changes automatically. If I want to change a certain size of the bed, um, the problem I mentioned with the manual creation with walls, slabs and uh, other archicad elements you can of course change uh, the size uh, from 100 to 80 it changes not only 3D but also the 2D symbol and everything is connected you are guaranteed to get uh, good uh, representation and uh, that's uh, basically the purpose of GDL, to create your own customized object to help you in your project design and uh, drawing generation. So this was uh, the first video in the series, uh, introduction to GDL, benefits of GDL and uh, uh, basic uh, examples of GDL objects. It's Nicole Alef from Arpro signing off and wish you a productive and inspirational week.